Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. It's Daryl here, and today we are wrapping up our Schecter mini series with something a little more retro. All right, so today we're checking out the TSH1 Classic, something very different from Schecter. As you guys can see, it sports dual lipstick pickups that look really retro, tailpiece down here, um, two toggles, we'll have to figure out what those do, and stunningly good looks. Look at the back of this guitar, man. Just gorgeous. So anyway, we'll check this out in greater detail. Here we go. First things first, I wanna know if these lipstick pickups can deal in a bright, sizzling 60s tone. Well, let's find out. Well, okay, so 60s tones are definitely in this guitar's wheelhouse. Let's quickly hit up some of the highlights of this instrument and do some tones. All right, so let's talk about the aesthetics first. Now, if you're into interesting looking designs or vintage inspired designs, I think this guitar is gonna check off a lot of boxes. There's a lot of cool going on here. But in terms of the aesthetics, we've got flame maple headstock, flame maple body, and check out the back of this guitar. I'm gonna look down on my monitor just so I can catch it in the right light. Like, look at that. That is just straight up stunning. So we've got kind of this honey burst finish. I think Schecter calls it maybe vintage burst, something like that. But to me, it just looks like a straight up honey burst with some darkening around the edges. You guys can see it's just a little kind of burnt around the edges and then fades into a bright, bright honey finish. So really gorgeous uh, flame maple all over this guitar. So all the flame maple with the subtle burst finish just works for me. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Now, as for all the other specs, since this is the vintage series, we no longer have locking tuners like the other two Schecters. We have Grover tuners, so very nice, high quality tuners. Um, and we don't have the compensated nut, but we have a Graftec nut. So definitely going with you know more of a vintage look, right? If we had the compensated nut and the locking tuners of the other models, it wouldn't really jive with uh, the whole vintage, you know, specs or whatever. So that's what's going on with the headstock, Grover's, um, Graftec nut, so high quality parts on the headstock. Now as for the neck, this model features a rosewood fingerboard, whereas the other two guitars featured ebony. We still have the jumbo frets and beautiful block inlays. The back of the neck, as you guys can hopefully see, is three pieces of maple. Now the body itself is maple with obviously flame maple on either side, which just looks amazing. Uh, double bound body, binding on the neck and binding on the headstock to tie kind of everything together. Now excluding all the flame maple, I think the star of the show for me are these dual lipstick pickups. They look absolutely fantastic. Schecter calls these their two buckers. Now I can't really find anything about them online. So that's why we're gonna kind of do some tones and check out you know, what these things actually sound like. But I think they look super cool. Now moving down the body of the guitar, we've got a Tone Pro bridge. So again, Schecter's using top quality hardware. And we've got, of course, the tailpiece with the Schecter S. Now I just wanna quickly point out that the binding around the F hole is really well done. Much nicer than some Epiphones that I've seen, uh, considering you know this is in that same price range. Well, probably a little cheaper. Um, but anyway, a super good quality on the binding, which is something I always check out when I'm looking at a new guitar. All right, so now let's talk about the dual toggles. Well, this one right by your, the rest of your controls here is your three-way switch. So neck pickup, both pickups, and bridge pickup. And then you've got standard like Les Paul style controls where you have a volume and tone for each pickup. So very flexible um, in terms of setting up your pickups for different tones. And this top toggle here is actually your coil split. And after playing on this guitar for a while, I realized how genius this is. It's really easier than just pulling out on a pot. I mean, you can get used to whatever, but this just is super convenient. So three-way selector, coil split, when it's in the up position, you're just gonna get a single lipstick. And then when you're down, it's humbucky. All right, so I think I hit most of the highlights up on this instrument. If there's something else you wanna know about it, just click in the video description below. I'll link to this guitar for all the specs. As for now, let's do some tones. As per usual, I'll be plugged into my Blue Angel amp. And of course, we'll go through a bunch of different gain stages and uh, you know the coil splits, the singles, all that kind of stuff. Here we go, let's take a listen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So now let's throw this baby into a mix with some other instruments. I'm going to play along with like a classic 60s style track, which I think will suit this guitar quite nicely. Uh, so I'll link to the backing track again in the video description below as always. Here we go. Let's check it out. So here are my final thoughts on the Schecter TSH1 Classic. As I said off the top of the video, not something I would associate with the brand, but that's what makes this thing an absolutely sleeper pick. It's such a great guitar, and I don't think a lot of people know about it, so really, really cool. When you split the lipstick pickups, totally bright, totally sizzling, totally chimey, totally 60s tone. And that's not just marketing BS, you know, like you'll hear from almost every manufacturer, uh, these lipstick pickups absolutely sound like that. So they give you that prototypical 60s tone. Um, and when you put them in the, into the humbucker mode, they warm right up and, you know, sound perfectly classic or perfectly versatile for other styles. And of course, you've got volumes and tones, so lots of flexibility with this guitar in terms of the electronics. So a uh, huge thumbs up from me. Now, as for the construction, this guitar, like the other Schecters, was made in South Korea, and the quality control there is absolutely excellent. Uh, this guitar is just like the others. I can't find a flaw on it, whether I look at the binding, the finish, uh, the hardware mounting, or anything like that. Um, quality control is absolutely fantastic. So at the end of the day, there's a few things that make this guitar stand out from the crowd. So if you're into this style of aesthetics, it's absolutely beautiful. Flame Maple, as I've shown you guys all over, including the headstock, uh, all that matching burst finish, um, but the lipstick pickups. There's not a lot of manufacturers using this style of pickup, and it absolutely sounds different. So if you want something that's maybe different than the other guitars in your collection, or maybe you're just like, oh, I don't want to sound like everybody else and, you know, whatever, have Seymour Duncan pickups or whatever, uh, these ones will sound very different, and I absolutely love the coil splitting up here, which I haven't seen a lot of guitars do that either. So there's a few features on here that really make it stand out from the crowd, and the playing experience, awesome. So that wraps up our little mini series on Schecter guitars. It's been a lot of fun to share them with you guys. We did the Ultramodern C1 uh, SLS Elite and then the Solo 2 Custom right there, which is more of a classic guitar. So modern, classic, vintage, uh, something for everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can check out my t-shirt store and the tab store down in the video description below, along with the guitar. Other than that, have an awesome week. Take care.